Hi, my name is Edo, call sign EI9HAB, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a cheap vertical antenna that's multi-band. Um, it's ideal for taking away on holidays, as you can see. It's made from a fishing pole, a few bits of wire, um, and it's very effective. Uh, and even on this trip, it's its first outing. I've made trips as far away as Guadeloupe on the other side of the Atlantic, and with a 737 overflying the Alps here in Europe. So. Uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this very effective and very cheap antenna. So we're building a vertical antenna for um, 20 meters. So this is a theoretical I suppose diagram and um, what you have is the vertical element of the antenna um, which radiates the, the signal and then you have what's called the ground plane and these consist of uh, four wire radials so um, I'll show you the wire now in a second. Um, so bits sticking up and four bits going off um, perpendicular along the ground. So the materials for building the antenna are pretty straightforward. The idea is that I'm going to make the base of the antenna a cruciform shape with these four brackets or ties. I think they're used for joinery. I got them off a building site. Pretty much it'll be just built up from the bottom. You'll have these legs on the bottom and then the ground plane will be attached to it. And handily enough the base of the pole comes with this stopper or cap um, that's treaded and I'm going to integrate that into the base of the whole setup and that the pole will just screw down onto it. And then with these holes I might just put some guy lines up, some little uh, ties just to stabilise the whole thing. The wire I'm going to use is this flex weave wire. It's nice and silky, it's very flexible. It just means that it, it, it can um, it has the properties to be able to be inserted into the antenna pole, which I'll show you in a second, to be collapsed up and down because it's, it's uh, nice and flexible. And then also for the, the ground plane elements, the radials going off, they can just be wound up and uh, deployed uh, when um, you're setting up the antenna, it's easy to roll them out. Just be careful when you're ordering flex weave antenna. Some flex weave or flex weave wire, sorry, some of it is uh, advertised as flex weave, but it's actually quite stiff. You really need this silky stuff, this really flexible stuff, um, for this to be able to work. So, this is the fishing rod antenna pole. How I did the wire was I drilled a hole just above the base of the pole and inserted the wire through there, made a connection um, from a ring connector that will screw onto the centre part of the coax going into the antenna pole. Now the wire is thick enough that it can't be threaded up into the top section of the fishing pole, the fifth section is just too narrow. So on the bottom of the second last section of the antenna or of the fishing rod I drilled a hole so the wire goes in, inside up through the pole but then comes out again at this second from last section and then it's just secured to the top there um, at the tip of the fishing pole so when it's up <coughs> what you do is when this wire is hanging um, a little loose just twist the fishing rod around a little bit and um, when it's uh, not fully extended and it'll just coil the wire just to keep it snug against the tip of the pole so it's not flapping in the breeze or pulling the tip of the pole down so these are the radials. I've just I've already done them obviously, but it's just a little bit of soldering involved. Um, there's uh, ring connectors, um, just soldered, and then ring connectors at the end of each one, so they can be pegged into the ground. Then layered on top of that will be these um, legs, I suppose, if you want to call them that. Okay, so this is the bottom um, section of the mast, the bottom fifth, and then just with some cable ties and some tape and some small ring connectors I have made the anchor points for the guy ropes for them on that and they'll tie off to the legs of the base of the mast so that's what that looks like so here you can see the coax um, coming to the antenna so the uh, inner wire um, connects directly to the the vertical element of the antenna and the outer braid or the outer shield of the coax is brought off here to 
the radials here and there's four of them and they're just laid out on the ground and these are these little stabilizing bars or um, metal plates that I put down but actually in this instance I found a little table outside with a hole in it and it was the perfect for a parasol obviously but it was perfect uh, to stabilize the antenna so no, no need for big uh, guy ropes. So how did this little antenna perform? Um, well I think it did reasonably well. Looking at the DX map here generated from the contacts that I made uh, I got a good spread of stations from Guadeloupe in the west um, to Russia in the east. So it performed reasonably well in what's been very poor HF conditions uh, recently. And despite the marginal HF conditions, uh, ma managed to make some interesting contacts, including the famous uh, Jerry PH9 HB Air Mobile flying his 737 Transavia over the Pyrenees from Barcelona to Eindhoven. That was quite fun. We got a man in a van. That's Rob, Mike, Zero, Kilo, Papa, Delta, Mobile, on top of a hill in Brighton. And I got Steve, Golf Zero, Mike, Quebec, Foxtrot, Portable, north of London on his motorbike. The antenna did tune to other bands, but I just didn't have the opportunity to try it out on those bands. Uh, Radio Victor 3 Delta Mike X-Ray from EI9 HAB Portable. Thanks for coming back. So, is my homemade antenna as good as a top of the range antenna? I don't know. I've never owned a top of the range antenna. But for eight euro for a fishing pole, a few bits of metal scavenged, a few bits of string, uh, some wire, you know, you can see I've demonstrated you can build a pretty effective HF shortwave antenna for not a lot of money. I reckon components for all of this probably less than 15 euro um, so there you have it um, and if you're interested in radio communications or communications without infrastructure this is what amateur radio is you know go join your local amateur radio club or check out amateur radio online and if you're in the South Dublin area here in Ireland for South Dublin amateur radio club and we'll help you get along that journey to get your radio license and you know open up a whole spectrum of communication from HF or shortwave to satellite communication there's amateur satellites up there um, uh, experimenting with new technologies and radio communications whether it's Raspberry Pis or you know programming or whatever the, the area is vast but um, it's a very enjoyable hobby um, so yeah so from EI9 HAB, no longer portable, now back at home, uh, signing off.